Hello and welcome to the next tutorial in making a platforming game in Scratch. So we're going to start kitting out our second level now with a couple more um, features. So let's just start the game off, come over to the second level and at the moment you can see you know we've just got one platform, it's not that interesting. So we're going to use the same trick as we did last tutorial. I'm going to duplicate a platform again and I'm going to move it over here a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than the last one because this is going to become our moving platform. So we can go to costumes and this is the select tool so I can grab it like that and then this one I want to make a lot smaller so that it's more interesting, more difficult to jump into onto like so, maybe a bit smaller still and let's make it a little bit thicker to match up with the other one. There we go. So that gives me a platform which I can then you know, attempt to jump onto to move up to perhaps another layer up here. So with that in mind, I'm going to duplicate this one and then move that one up the top here. So I'll have this one over here. I'm going to have to run over, jump on, and then jump up here. OK, so we're going to have to move on to some code now. So we'll start off with this one here. And because I've duplicated, it comes with some pre-existing um, code, which is fantastic. So it'll hide automatically when game over is um, triggered. And when it receives the next level, it will show and go to the back layer, which is perfect. It's just what I wanted. And again, it will hide when the green flag is clicked. And that is exactly the same as this one. So because we duplicated it from this one, it comes, it inherits all of the code from the other ones. So now we need to make this one move to make it a bit more challenging to jump onto. So what we're going to have is the broadcast again. So when I receive next level, we will want. So here we go. When I receive next level, let's click on that. And we're going to want it to move backwards and forwards. So we're going to use the glide command so here it is glide and I'll want it to then glide back to another position and I want it to keep going because it's a moving platform so it's going to keep going all throughout the code so I'm going to surround that by a forever block link it into there so the starting position here is 199 in X and minus 11 in Y but if I want to start it perhaps over here it will start now from, you can see the numbers down here, they're quite small, 239 in X. So we'll start 239 in X. There we go, off it goes back there. And then we want it to come over to, you know, maybe about here. So let's look what the position of that is. Let's just stop this for a minute. There we go, bring it over to say here to make it possible to jump onto. And we can see that's X151. So if I do 151 there, click start and just move back onto that level here we go so there's my moving platform so now all being well I'll be able to jump onto it yeah Ooh. and then jump onto the top level so that's starting to provide some extra interest to this um, final level well I mean in your game you obviously could have multiple multiple levels but this is the final level I'm going to show you um, now we need to add a little bit of jeopardy to this because at the moment you know you can jump on it but I'll show you what happens if I fall off not a lot I just you know fall down to the bottom of the screen not particularly interesting so we want to be able to, for something to happen to make things a bit more fruity so things can go wrong so I'm going to get the spike and I'm going to duplicate that pop it down here and we just need to change some of the code so we still want this one when I receive game over hide when green flag clicked we want it to hide this time and when I receive next level show so let's just click on that and see where it is when we come to this level there we go so a bit high at the moment so let's move that down here just to make it interesting somewhere around there so now if I miss my jump and I land on the spikes, oops, missed, game over. So again, starts to make our next level more interesting again. So there you have it. We now have two levels with obstacles to avoid. We have a moving platform, which we need to try and jump onto to get to the top level. We don't want to fall off it, because if we do, 
we trigger at the end of the game. So next tutorial I will show you the last couple of things for this series of videos. I will show you how to get a winning screen, so an item to reach to win the game, and I'll also show you how to make um, more obstacles to avoid. So we'll do a cloud that fires out a lightning bolt, which you have to avoid um, you know, if you want to win the game. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.